to Saturday. So my mask is almost dry and I thought I'd come to you and do a little self care this morning. So in a minute, <laughs> we're gonna wash this off and I can talk. And then we're gonna do um, some eye care and um, some lip care and just um, take a day to do some reading and I have my little household chores done. And so, uh, let's see how this goes. I made a trip to Ulta with a good friend and um, bought some things. I also was at a resort this weekend, uh, this week and had a really good facial. So I'm just in the zone to hydrate the skin. So uh, give me a second and let me um, get this washed off and I'll be right back with you. Wow. <laughs> I could have at least started this with the mask off, right? <laughs> um, hi everyone. So I uh, cleansed my face this morning and wanted to do the mask and thought, well, you know, I'll get it on and then I'll put my eyes together and um, my eye patches on and do that. So, um, and then I thought, well, I'll show you. So here we are. All right. So there'll be a couple of videos probably because there's, there's, I don't know how to time lapse things on here to YouTube it. So, um, we might just, or, or maybe I do, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I just bought some, um, just some eye patches. And you can get any of this stuff at Ulta in any brand at any price point. Um, but I just loved, I love it when they're like juicy. I'll show you what I, I'll show you what I bought. Maybe that's the wrong side. That's the side. Oh my God, it feels so good. It feels so good. I um, bought a mask and did that and as you saw the a mud mask I don't love the peels I just feel so dry afterwards so um, I like the mud one because it tends to pull which I know the other one does as well but I like the mask rather than the peel everybody has their preference so use what works for you we're gonna leave these on actually about 15 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna uh, show you what else I got that I have in the stores, hold tight. I was a little ill prepared for this, so my apologies, but, um, and I'm in my pajamas, so y'all get the real Lisa today, and my hair's dirty. Um, I got, um, with when I was with my friend, um, I got some e.l.f. products. And this is a little lip scrub. I did it last night and, it, and it, I liked it. So um, you just cleanse your lips and it's got an exfoliator in there. It's really just the scrub. So it feels like sand, pretty, pretty aggressive. Um, it's cherry. And then you just wipe it off with a warm rag. And they feel so good. I wear lipstick 18 hours of the day. And um, I just occasionally need to do that. So I don't have my any kind of lip balm in here because it's all in my beach bag from when I took it to the beach or took it to the pool this week. So I'm just gonna um, put on the good old Vaseline. I live and die by it. I love it. So many uses for this. 
I used to love to put it on my children's cheeks in the wintertime at night if they had gotten a little wind burned playing outside. And I tried to always put it on before they went outside. Um, those occasions that we didn't know what was going on. I used to love to put it on their little cheeks at night after their bath so that their, all the redness would go away the next day. So, all right, it feels really good. So I'm gonna do this mask and um, I'll come back to you in about 15 minutes and we'll um, put some moisturizer on and some um, good stuff on the face. See you soon. I have a friend who's, let's take these off. But before I do that, let me tell you what I did. So while I uh, put the mask on for it to dry, I went and loaded the few breakfast dishes that we had um, from coffee and um, he had cereal. So, um, and then, so that dried, I sat for a moment and then um, folded a load of clothes. I've been traveling all week, so um, that laundry is done. And um, I bought some new um, bath towels, um, hand towels. And so I freshened up the bathrooms with those after I washed them last night. And um, so, uh, so everything dried while I was doing those things around the house and then um, videoed while I took it off. And then um, I just went and um, hung out a delicate load to dry outside while the mask um, was on. And so, and I'm gonna show you, let me put some of this goodie on here. I'm gonna show you what um, I used for the mask and then under the eyes. Um, it, it was just so affordable. Sorry, I'm in my door. Oh, and last night, because I got so motivated, I'm trying to like give you the goods here. Um, I cleaned out my drawer where my makeup and all of my skincare and things are. So vacuumed it out, wiped it out, um, the hairbrush one, two, where the hair dryer is. And um, we um, put new paper down in the drawer, a pretty paper and um, freshened all that up, cleaned my little baskets and all that. So it's all, um, I think well organized until I put my makeup on, so we'll see. Uh, but I wanted to show you a couple of other things also that I got that I'm using that I love. And um, this is some eye serum that I got that I'm gonna put on under my eyes, um, as well as, um, and I just picked up anything that looked like I had vitamin C or um, anything to help if I could just like turn back the time on my eyes. But I also have been using um, Wow. Unique, <laughs> I had to think. Eye cream, it's got a little caffeine in it. And it puffs up your pores, I mean, your under your eyes. I need a lot of puffing. And I have big pores, so I do have to keep those clean. And I do, on occasion, I don't use this daily anymore, um, but you can. I use the Estee Lauder um, Perfectly Clean Scrub. Um, exfoliator um, and I use it as my cleanser so um, I had you picked up like a little elf care package the other day and it's got um, a moisturizer a toner and a cleanser in it I did not use that today because I wanted to exfoliate um, with that and I used the new brush the little swivel brush um, I did not have one until now so um, I really liked that um, let's see what else do I want to do I want to show you that um, Oh, and my old faithful. Everybody asks me what moisturizer I use, and honestly, y'all, it's just a little bit away. I love it. Um, it just has been great for me. Um, oh, God, it feels so good. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good after you've done something for yourself and then you get to put some lotion on your face? That feels so good. Um... I've got things on my lips, but I wanted to show you. So if the, my friend told me about the e.l.f. primer, makeup primer that she used. And oh my gosh, it's a hydrating primer. It was great. So I picked some up, but I also saw this illuminating face primer. It's got just a smidge of a gold highlight in it. And you put it on under your makeup and it was 
I don't know. I could tell a difference. Probably not another salt could, but it didn't matter um, what anybody else thought. Um, it made me feel really pretty. So um, I'm going to, I have not opened this um, primer yet because I've been using the other one while I was gone away. So let's use this this morning just because it's a, it's a hydrating um, base primer. I'm not going to put any makeup on today. Um, I'm planning to curl up on the sofa in an air-conditioned room because it's already gotten hot here today and uh, read. Um, I sat out and had coffee this morning and that was great. Y'all, these are really hard to get off. Hold tight. Okay, so now you just got to do what you got to do. Um, and my laundry is done. My house is clean. As I said, I've been gone all week and my husband is retired and he takes care of all the yard and because I work full time, takes really good care of the house. So um, I cleaned a few windows this morning over the sink and the front door and just freshening some things up. But so I'm just gonna take, uh, maybe I'm gonna take two squirts because I don't know, I feel like I need some extra. Oh God, y'all, it's like velvet. It actually feels like velvet. And it's so affordable. I mean, I think they were like eight or ten dollars. So that is so affordable. Um, and I'm red. I'm always red. I don't have rosacea. I just have like blood vessels right up under my skin. So um, that is why I'm red. I um, try not to ever get sun on my face. Um, so my face is always white, which is why my makeup is so dark. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, just wanted to come to you and tell you that. Oh, I was going to show you what I used. So these patches were um, the face mask. Um, is a, um, It was an Ulta Beauty one. Um, prickly Pear and Aloe Vera Hydrating Face Mask. And you get two to three um, uses out of it. So, um, and I really liked it. And I have another one too. You can get them for all different kinds of things. Um, and then I have... Um, the eye mask was this creme, creme, whatever it is. Um, and it was just the eye, the eye one. Eye patch, you watched me do that. And I also bought um, a, a body one. Um, a glowing vacation skin is inside this bag. So it says that you um, just dampen your skin in the shower and put this all over your body. And what are we supposed to do after that? Cover your whole body in the scrub and rub it in circular motions. Rinse, um, you can use it two or three times for the best results. And it has um, coffee to buff away dry skin, coconut oil to keep it clean, uh, clear, and grapeseed oil to reduce the appearance of scars. So if you have any scars, that helps. Um, so it's called Coconut Coffee Scrub. And I'm gonna use it, um, I don't know, probably in the next couple of days, probably this weekend while I'm at home and have the time to kind of do it. But I um, have to be careful if I'm spray tanning, you can't scrub um, unless you're about to re-spray tan. Um, but I have tan in bed and sun sun now, so I don't have to really worry about that. Um, and it's always good to exfoliate your skin, especially um, after you've um, got a good tan. Um, all of that build up from sunscreen and that sort of thing. Um, is in your pores. So, all right. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it was kind of all over the place, but what drew me to show you all of this is I wanted you to know that you don't just have to stop your world to take care of yourself. You can take care of your skin while you're doing the dishes or doing the laundry or doing your eye mask. You, you know, throw it on while the kids are screaming, while you're putting them in the bed. You know, certainly I don't have children at home anymore and, and I didn't take that advice when I was younger. Um, but do it now because you can and it's really affordable um, you don't have to buy 15 masks you can buy one and see how you like it and then go back um, at a later time so and pick up some more if you like them it's very affordable to do a little bit at a time and of course there's more expensive masks that you can use and buy um, I just stuck to the affordable things while I was because I wanted to play so um, I hope it's been fun it's been good to see you. Um, also, there's, um, if you don't, uh, I'll take a picture 
a before and an after picture because I took photos before I did the mask and all. Um, and I'll post those on Instagram. So if we're not friends on Insta Instagram, if you'll send me um, a friend request and honestly, if you'll send me a friend request and send me a quick message that you saw me on YouTube, um, I only, I like to do that just because I'm, sometimes I don't know where people come from and um, it kind of puts me in a position. So if you'll um, do that, um, I would love to be able to um, accept your request and you can follow along with my silly little life and fashion and um, home decor. And um, I think I'm also going to uh, post some um, before pictures of our um, bathroom, master bath renovation popped up in my um, news feed or on my, in my feed, um, memories on Facebook this morning. So um, I had not dug those out. So it's going to be fun to see that comparison of the before and the after in photos. So I think I'll post those today as well. So anyway, um, have a good one and enjoy your Saturday and do something for you. Bye.